action coming through from all your spells, honestly. And even just that nightmare to be able to save from the Reaper's Scythe could be a really big deal. But as we saw there, he is a go to be able to continue to harass the pot. Has a little bit of a last hit advantage. And this sort of bottom lane might have a first blood. Karkar's in a bit of trouble. Very fire on a roll to play with, but Alchemist can be able to put himself in a position where he can block the escape on Karkar. And because Fix to be right there. He ends up giving up his first life, so not worth it at the end, but you understand why. Oh my lord, almost going down to the burst on Matthew. Not able to keep his life long enough, and they will force the TP back out. Mid lane, some if he lands a Gremlin alone, going to be in trouble. And he... This time, they unfortunately use the Nightmare, if we have a quick look there. They Dyer's use the Nightmare top just top before top. the Dream Coil came out, so I don't believe it actually connects in onto the Earth oh. Spirit. That's why he's able to run away, he gets tossed back. They're expecting that it's going to be broken, so at least it's a one-for-one -one trade, but instead, Kaka ends up living, and uh, they get the kill onto Matthew. We see RNG. This T1 tower is. Oh, Somnus actually going to look to jump in. Has he got the first run loan with Karkar nearby? The control's enough, and they're going to look to try and move it to the, this into the triangle. They've got the water on the high ground, so a lot of information for RNG to play with. Somnus doesn't really have the ultimate charges through Karkar. Gets the magnetize out there. Goes the curses on Thunder. How long they stick around? The Shellus drops aside. Thunder, however. Looking to turn to deal with the Dazzle Sacred. He's not going to have the damage by himself. Be able to bounce back a Swashbuckle, but it still keeps himself inside the river instead. Somnus, though, he's going to jump to the Bane instead, recognizing he won't be able to catch up to the Pain Glee. So looking for the easier target with Arna rotating. But even Alone's going to look to get involved as well. A call to hold Somnus back, but Alone might have just put his body on the line. Farm on the top side. There go, go. RNG, they're in. Parkour's gonna miss the roll. Chell's gonna be able to pogo stick forward. Do they want to side down the main instead? They're gonna turn to Matthew as well. So two quick and easy kills for the side of RNG. Very nice once again. They might even look this uh, to use this to go into Roshan. You know, being able to pick off a... A, be able to take down the first life, not even, you know, the, uh, the Aegis and then... The second life just doesn't happen. By, along with the low, once again the toss under the T2 tower, but RNG is showing up with numbers here to be able to take the fight. So I'm just going to be cautious though. The calls out into the break as well. Do they have the damage though to bring down the Void Spirit? Nashville steps up with a reposition. Now Sacred's going to move in to try and deal with Chalice. This is not an easy kill at all. The Necrofoss is incredibly survivable, especially with X Nova nearby as well. It's going to go for a TPR, but they have the damage just after the grave expires. And now Sacred's looking for more, but Arna, the person back showed up to the party, so alone, he needs to get the orb out. The taunt to the last second is not fast enough as Arna Pumps the damage in to get from the puck, and now we can turn his attention to the outpost, but I don't think you can hand him who goes down first. And that's gonna buy him some time. Parkour's gonna get the roll in, but a beautiful avalanche along with Sacred's rolling thunder. It'll give them the opportunity to get rid of the US for it to start. Sacred's been able to run into the void for as well. They're gonna look to jump as well. Alone's in with the combination. Matthew with the break of the coil. But where's the cards for the damage? He'll enter from the right side. Without the Void Spirit now, the control might be something that's going to be lacking on RNG. We'll see if they can kite Arna down to the north. And Matthew with the Sacrificial Lamb. So Thunder, a beautiful team fight. They get a two for one, they force out a buyback out of Karka. And that was all because of they, they just waited for that little bit of extra time. Hot lane though, they're setting up on Sacred. So this is here. Chelsea's going to be nearby as well. An easy kill, beautiful move from RNG. Beautiful move from bot to They're top. They're tired they of being go. split pushed. They're yeah. tired of it. You know, the, this Pango, this Puck, they've been doing a really good job the of this. Kaz is so still far. bottom as well. I mean, he's he's he might get the kill. Animus nearby to be able to help out as well. And the rest of Thunder are also connecting just in case a fight breaks out. The good spots Radiant as well. Always scanning. playing around that tree line. Very rarely getting out of the box. Although it's come home. Back in. He's got the ultra kill. He's looking for the rampage.
rage as well. He's gonna be cautious though. The chemical rage has expired. They're doing an incredible job to kite Arna for the moment. The toss to the side. They'll get the side kill one. Both supports are down. They're gonna off. bring Chalice down. They jump to the high ground. But Shroud's still on cooldown. He's got the force off as well. But look at Arna. He's doing it all for them. Double kill on the Brits are back. They're just unable to get... But Pender is not making it out of this one alive. Mid lane though. Parkour's even got to force the BKB as well. Arna's charging and Picard's has to get out, but he blinked into the middle. Ultimate's going to be activated. They need a way to damage. Arna, but the Bristleback pops the BKB. Charging forward to deal with Picard's. Where's the protection? Thunder oh. just gets the blink out. The nick of time. Meanwhile, though, Somnus... Radiance middle tower has fallen. Radiance get it over. So that might not be enough, honestly. Yeah. Come on, Anna, go for the fountain time. It's your home. It's your home from the Oz Palms. This is where you always seem to find yourself. And eventually the GG ends for. Radiance middle tower. for punishment. This might be his first death of the entire game. Never will not be an option to get that damage mitigation out. I mean, you're still very happy with that though, right? Solo the kill onto the Juggernaut. As well. the card. He's going to TP directly onto the tower, especially with a lone connecting. Yeah, but it's got to be cautious though, RNG. They're starting to bring the numbers to hit back. Alone, there's no way he's going to be able to make it out of this one. A big kill onto the Ember. They're going to look for a plus one. Kaka using the tree to gain some information. They're getting range Toss for back the top, into the top tower. Is doesn't under attack. have the amount of the, the offlaner for RNG compared to Sacred. <laughs> Dyer's middle tower. They are under setting up onto sacred. Eyes on mid lane, those chalice. Mm. Going down because a very deep TP. He's not going to tick out to the damage over time. So I'm just going to look to enter the fight. The orb will be on the mark. He's going to jaunt on four to secure the kill. Can he outrun the roll of thunder though? No one else is falling. Well, Kaka's doing a pretty decent time farming too. 11 and a half minutes, only a thousand gold away from that blink dagger. <laughs> Oh, look at the damage from the shield crash. Somnus holds them back with the coil. The respawns are starting to come out. Thunder needs to respect RNG from being able to TP back in alone. Oh my lord. RNG. I got Pandemir. Only the target you want. Take it. Take it, though. Look at that blink dagger. What a blink reveal. Moves in with the rolling thunder. They're going to look to change control some of this next. He's not in a great position to get the bounce back. And um, Matthew, he's in trouble as well. As RNG, I'll play through even off the great start from Sacred, but that was not enough damage to be able to follow up with the rolling thunder. Dyer's top just luxury items for now. You've got a uh, Ogre Axe just given over to Chalice. Needs to make sure that he doesn't use too much of that mana, though. He is an important part of the damage that's coming out in a lot of these RNG engagements. Nature attend us. This blade fear is really racking up the damage, something that X Nova wasn't ready for. That was also coil used as well, so they're not going to yes. have this for the tower defense. I, I'd, I'd love to see Thunder look to make a play with the coil being on cooldown. They're going to do that. Sacred jumps in. No hesitation for the pain cleave. They've got to be cautious, so because RNG. Taking a fight inside their territory. Even Arna's going to look to show up as well. Matthew? Matthew, brother. This is incredibly deep. The toss away, but Sacred. He wants to follow the party as well, but they're rolling thunder towards Arna's location. But a blade free will give Arna an opportunity to reset the fight, but can anyone else at RNG make it away? Arna's still in trouble. He moves back in, and they're going to pounce on that opportunity. The Sunder awaken. Finds a big kill onto the Juggernaut. Kaka, though. Look for the combination. But some this nearby, but because he's working with the BKB. So all this magic immunity, that's going to be enough to get the TP out. They might get Pandemo instead, but really not the ideal target. Yeah, they're just running a little bit too low on mana for anyone to help out. Huck. But Matthew is a top six with his lockdown. They're moving to some of his location. They're able to break the core with a force up on the higher gun. And now X Nova will be ripped apart as well. Because with a double kill, and you said it best, it seems like he is everywhere in this second game. <laughs> top. They're gonna run into one lone shortly. Karkar's gonna go for the Rubik instead. A toss closer to Arna's location. An easy kill, but Matthew's gonna bleed through. And the Grave's gonna be used to protect the Rubik, and they turn and jump. They don't have Arna for the team fight. And without the damage from the position one, how can RNG turn this fight back around? 
Somnus is in trouble, awaiting Rift to the low ground, Kaka buying him some time. He'll just make it out. Meanwhile, in the river, though, Chalice, he's in trouble as well. The cars, along with Sacred, in combination together, will run into the Viper. And Thunder, all they lose is the Rubik, and they take so much out of RNG. The Satanic. Oh, and his heals are completely to full tiny. Probably going to be falling as well. But Kaka, once again, with his little jukes, blink up in one. Oh, just no. gets clear. <laughs> He's in a position to pop the smoke, Kaka. Well, I'm gonna see Sacred for the moment. It's a real big pickup if they can get it. The toss closer towards the artist's location, but the damage, it won't come through thanks to the Yule Scepter. And again, Pandamu gets the grave off and look at Alundra jumping into the middle, trying to deal with the backline. Sacred's got the ball up as well, but Kaz, he keeps his in as well. Down go both the cores and RNG will not be long for this team fight. As now they're going to TP over to Chalice at the mouth to the pit. The Viper is just trying to edge out some kill fight, anything they can get. But they won't even catch up the Dazzle. And it'll come at the cost. This is nothing they can do but come. They shift to the last second, but can he get the reactions off the blink back inside the base? Tiny, he's going to be the one that's in trouble for the moment. But RNG, they want to continue to take the team fight. The cards has got the second life to work with, though. They're going to try and bring him down the once. And they set themselves up for round two. Alone, he's going to look to jump in the middle. Karkov's going to go for the chain control, but they won't get the top ball before the BKB. It's right to hold him inside. Arnett's going to be able to come through the trees. They're dealing the damage. Finally, the kill off the cars. Arnett will turn to Sacred as well. They're pinging it. Like the smoke. Sacred's going to be on the high ground. An ag shot of the nick of time. He doesn't get the ult to know up there. He should be able to enable it. Cancel his wallet, Thunder. The bash is there. Can they get the control after the Yule Scepter? He's got a spot back on the wall. The high ground. Meanwhile, Arnett's in trouble. The cards is in with the damage. And with an H is blocked. They're getting rid of their juggle. Now, now they'll till through the rest of the components of RNG. As Somnus, he'll jaunt to the right. But instead, they're going to go for Chalice. Spider legs to try and survive towards the north, however. It looks like Parker's gonna be the easy kill. Stuck inside the sprout, turned to a pig. And six feet under. But still, though, RNG. They are able to kill kind of out of defensive. Be cautious at the moment. Somnus is not nearby to be able to play with Chalice. No advice. Looking to connect finally. Somnus has got the abilities back up. Even Chalice is going to buy back as well because he needs some members to be able to rejoin, but no one is nearby to help him. Satanic. Just pop it. Him against the world. Going to get the TP out. That's not the possibility. As Somnus is in, blows him up before the teleport. And RNG. The second team in these team fights, which he hasn't no had yet. They're gonna see Honor as well. Take him with a stun. Honor's gonna be playing with the instead of cap, so this time he's gonna be able to get the blade free off. He's gonna be cautious how long he sticks around because Picard just takes it into the middle. The chain control. Last boss. He's trouble turn to the only side is gonna give him a little bit of vulnerability for the moment. But can they the creep afterwards? Rubik's Omniing him. Tide is in trouble. A stolen only side from Matthew's gonna do nothing. It's Honor. Protected with the blade through it, going back on to the Rubik that successfully stored off this initial jump and oh, gonna die. they cancel the TP Sacred team with the bashes on his app and RNG don't stick around to still clean up this team fight and to die back for the Pango and they're gonna toss him away from Pandamu oh he doesn't have buyback and they see Pandamu as well there are 19,000 gold they've got the lead they're inside the base and have a potential to close out this second game and take this series two to zero. Oh, not again. It's already happened Dyer's once today with EG against Team Lady's Spirit, but oh. that one was with a lone druid. This is with a team that Lady's does not back. push I'm that well. Attack. Chalice doesn't even have the... Uh, oh, he just got the Aghanim shot actually delivered on the courier. So he's going to have that minus armor for the towers as well. Lady's Buyback for Picard. Oh, will he be forcing them back, though? Look, at it's Somnus. just base creation right now for Somnus. Kaka's going to get the jump as well. They won't be playing with Matthew. Fly back at least. The buildings are starting to fall. Chalice is getting the damage stacking up. And Thomas is just on space creation duty. He'll so the kill the Rubik. He falls it down. Thorns explodes. And the Picard to deal the damage. But the nation will not be able to keep them in this game. As RNG.